Where were we are then? Yes, folks, it's been a long time. It's been a long time. And uh, welcome back. And uh, welcome back, 2021. Welcome to the Bar of Good Deeds. Yes, it's finally done. All these years, bit of bright light there. Bit of a slow enough. Oh, that's good. Can't get the Belgium at the moment, apparently. Some reason why. Well, we'll get on to that in a minute. But we have got a little Belgian beer. Yeah, a little F.A. Nice. Oh, another looks like, oh, yeah, lovely. Mmm. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, here we are, look, in the bar of good days. Completed. Finished. We got it all in here. We got, oh, we got, we got red wine, we got white wine, champagne, gins, scotches, beers, beers from all around the world, pilsners, you name it. We got artifacts. We got World War One rifles. We got World War One bombs and grenades. You name it, we got it in here. Bit of bright light, we got beautiful lighting, look. We got music, we're in, the, this is in the back bar. Take you in the back bar now, look. Here we are in the winery. And pan you around, as you can see, it's quite large. And uh, the winery's full up. Apologies for the light. Let's, let's get you out of the light. A bit bright. There we go. And uh, yeah, it's all good. Little church pew, donated by the old uh, the local vicar, believe it or not. We can take you outside. The open door, mind your head. Put a bit of red, white, and blue up there for people. They still bang their heads. When they were allowed in, obviously, pre the problems. And we come outside. And obviously earlier, before, well, you saw me digging holes. Big holes. Well, we've got, we've got tables and chairs to sit on now. Look, look at that, fantastic. Made by yours truly. And here we go. Look at this, eh? Little bit of a water feature. Little bit of a water feature. Look at that. Isn't that fantastic? There we go. Here we go, look at that. We're pretty much there. We got a little few tweaks outside. We got a little bit of paving to do. But that's not stopped the bar from being open when we were allowed. We get back to that, don't we? What's been happening in the world? Where have I been? I've been here. I've been recuperating. Had a little bit of an accident. A little bit of a ladder decided to collapse on me and I fell quite a way and we uh, we landed and we broke one's ankle. So it's been a bit of a while repairing it. And then on top of that, we've obviously had a tooth out. So we've had to get rid of the old tooth and uh, that's been a bit hard, I I better turn that light off because if I'm gonna sit there, you're gonna get, you're gonna get blinded. So we'll sit, we'll sit here because we're gonna sit on the chair. It's just, a little bit better and we can we can sit here it makes it a little bit dark though doesn't it then we should put the light back on but anyway here we are in the bar of good days i'm gonna have to put the light back on it's driving me back it's not working is it not working without a light on put the light on there we go i don't see it yeah. we can sit we'll sit more right there we go we have a bit of a sit down here there you get to see the bar bar and all its splendor Hold you straight. Obviously, I've had a few today. Um, celebration, celebration of the first vlog in uh, a year. The last vlog I think I did for you, all you good people, was uh, myself and Mr. Ardcastle. Um, the Ardcastle. We went a walking back in the beginning of 2020, and then obviously it all went peak tong. It all went peak tong, and now we got this. Bit of an issue with a bit of a virus mucking about, sorting it out. And obviously we had the old Brexit, so we've got we've got the virus stopping us, we've got breakfast break more well, breakfast and Brexit stopping us. We can't have breakfast now. I'm not allowed to make me breakfast because obviously they take your ham sandwich away. They're gonna take my breakfast away, aren't they? Um they won't take the cheeky little beer away though, will they? Because I'll have bought it over there, won't I? And uh, thankfully the limits are still good, so we can still bring plenty back. Brief stoppage for drink. So, what's going to happen? Where? What's going to happen in the future? Where are we going to go? Well, we're still going to go. 
We're still going to go on our walks. We're still going to go on our tours. We're still going to walk the battlefields. You're still going to have to put up with me uploading this. Why? Because it will get back to normal. Not a new normal. It will get back to normal. It takes time. Pandemics usually last a couple of years. If you do your history, you'll know that. They'll clear themselves up. We have coronaviruses all the time, they're just different variants. And once you get over it and you get a herd immunity, then eventually you'll be alright and things will get back to normal. And it will. It will get back to what was normal. Are there any normal people out there? Well, we've proven in the world that there's a lot of people who aren't normal and a lot of people who don't want to listen. And if people think it's not really happening, trust me, it's happening. Even in our little village, sadly, five people have died. Well, hopefully it will all clear itself up and at some point within 2021 we'll start moving about a bit and we'll get on a trip and we'll get a few things, we'll get a few, see a few stems again, show you about the places. And, uh, and now I'll start vlogging a bit. Now I'm back in the land of the living. It's been a bit of a pain time and there's no point in doing vlogs when everyone else is doing them and they're all the same. And uh, I'm sure everyone else has had the uh, the same issues. And we've all got the same issues. We've all been going through it all. And a few more months yet. Maybe summer, which will be quite well into it. But we'll we'll be there. We'll get there. Positivity. Got to be positive. Things could have been a lot worse. Things could be a lot worse. And sadly for a lot of people, it has been a lot bloody worse. But we are still here. We are still here. We're still having our cheeky beers and um, we'll be looking forward to having many more. Mr. Yawn, Mr. Peter Polly, they're both well in Belgium. I keep in contact with them and they're doing fine. As are all my other cohorts, thankfully, at this moment in time. I'm uh, one of my other pals, Mr. Wilson, who has actually frequented the Bar of Good Deeds. He, uh, before obviously lockdown rules uh, applied, um, he uh, sadly also had a ladder accident and he's broken his leg. Well, he's done a bit worse than me. Um, and so, to Mr. Wilson, cheers. Well done. Anything for a sky, Wilson. Anyway, um, so to uh, the Nav and the R Castle, I'd like to take my uh, a Samo, who's the R Castle now, and the Nav is always the Nav. And he, he, he never is anything other than the nav. Um, thank you very much for helping me get through the last eight or nine months, uh, healing up the old broken ankle. It was quite a bad break. Um, so doing vlogs about me looking miserable and, and all the rest of it wouldn't have been very good. So hence the uh, oh, bit of tooth there. It's a bit, oh, we had a big old tooth ripped out and uh, we're, we're getting over that and we, we're using obviously the proper, proper medicine to get over the tooth. No, it was it. Very conducive sitting here in this bar to drinking. Um, so, uh, fingers crossed, uh, as life gets back to normal and better. Um, got my tickets for uh, Colonel's Review in June. Um, looking forward to that. Fingers crossed that'll go ahead this year. Obviously didn't last year, um, as many things didn't. But it's one year off, isn't it? We've all had a year off. Tick a year off. Just don't be that, don't be that age. Wipe it off. Ignore it. Why? What's the point? Put it in your diary. Put it in your put it in your chapter. One of your chapters of your life. Something for you to talk about. One year. One and a bit years. 18 months. 20 months. Whatever it is. What did all those lads go through? All those lads there. You know? All those lads there and those Sims. Yeah? What did they go through? For one year, two year, three years? And obviously, if they're in a the sem there, what didn't they get to do after their one year, or their two years, or their three years? They didn't get to come home. So, is it really difficult to sit in your house, nice and warm, plenty of food, things to drink, money being paid to you for the majority? Is, is it really that difficult? No. It isn't. It isn't that difficult. It ain't a great sacrifice. We've had about 80 or 1,000 people now who have sacrificed. They've paid the ultimate sacrifice, the ultimate price for this. So let's think about them, shall we? Shall we think about them and their families? 
and now they've had to cope. Should we think about all the people that have had to cope with it, all the, all the people who have grafted through it, kept the country going? Or I'll, I'll clap my hands to the government. Thank you very much for what you've done. I don't care what other people say. I think they've done a brilliant job. Yeah, they deserve a clap as well. No one else has been through this in, in our lifetime. No one, in anyone's lifetime. Haven't been through it. Haven't had to do it. They've done it. Good or bad, we're still here. Thank you all the services. You've done a fantastic job in your NHS service. Done a fantastic job. Doctors, nurses, Tesco's, Waitrose, Sainsbury's. Yeah, all right, they're profit makers. But people have grafted, put themselves in the firing line. Dangerous place to be. Sadly, a lot of people haven't helped. They've been stupid. Um, and what goes around comes around. One day, one day, people, maybe you'll get kicked up the arse for what you've, uh, you've done. Maybe, maybe not. But the ones who have done brilliant, delivery drivers. You know, you know Jeff Bezos, maybe a multi-millionaire Amazon. But my word, a little bit of Christmas every month, getting a delivery from Amazon through these hard times. Fantastic. You know, okay, so you're earning money out of it. That's what the industry's about. The world's about. Kept people in jobs, isn't it? Maybe it's given some more people some jobs. More people delivering. Life changes, life moves on. You know? That's the way it is. That's the way it is, folks. Um, I could pontificate with loads of vlogs. I'm doing quite, quite a long one here because I haven't done one for such a long time. And it's more to say to you all, let's stay positive. I had to dig deep and stay positive, you know. When you tumble out, I, 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 I was lucky. People said, you're so unlucky. I said, no, I'm not. I'm lucky. I'm lucky. The amount of people who've fallen from that height, seven foot, nearly two metres, two and a half metres, break, break an ankle, bruise me back, could have been paralysed. Guy up north was recently, could have had my neck broke, could have been dead. Broken an ankle, eight or nine months, back fit and ish and healthy ish, work to go to. Friends have helped out, family have been there, neighbours have been there, you know, put on weight, so I must be alright, plenty of eating at home, plenty of beer, plenty of Christmas food. Why the negativity? Let's have positivity. Let's think about all the good things. Think about the birds singing and the trees growing and the grass growing and, and, and the beauty of, of our planet and... Yeah, it's struggling, it's struggling, it's struggling other numbers of people. And the people have got to get their head around it. Um, it's, 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 it's more than just some of the things that they're thinking about. I think maybe even a bigger, bigger picture, you know. And, uh, but at the same time is, we don't we need to persecute people today for things that were done hundreds of years ago by others because we haven't done them today. So get a little bit more perspective about your lives and what's going on. And think about the ones who haven't had the chance to enjoy that life. That's the most important thing. You know these vlogs are generally always about that because that's what we're about there to do. We're about their remembrance. There's so many people we could consider and remember and try and consider most. But ultimately, you know, with me, it's... It's the battlefields and the boys, and that's what I concentrate on. And that's what I'll continue to concentrate on through the rest of my God-given. It's something that gives me pleasure. It's something that gives me a little bit of solace, and I think I'm giving a little bit back by at least going and saying thank you for giving me the ability to sit here, prattle on, talking a load of proverbial, um, and having a beer. And I know that in the art of arts... Some of those guys, or the millions of guys that fought on both sides of the walls, would actually feel some of what I feel and understand some of what I feel and what I'm saying. And they'd enjoy a beer. And I'm hoping quite a few more would enjoy a few more beers. Well, I've had several ex-servicemen in here, and I've also had a servant colonel in the army, Mr Jeremy P Morgan, my hat's off to you, and an ex-serviceman, uh, A.D. Armacastle, Samo, and Mr Paul Cornage. Um, thank you very much for coming to the bar, the NAV. When 
has been permitted and when has been allowed, by the way. I mustn't stress that. That hasn't been done out of what's it. We're not going to be that much of a hypocrite. We've, we've done it when we've been allowed to. Cheers again. Thank you very much. So my final thoughts and, and, and words on it all are to um, welcome you to 2021 and welcome you to the Bar of Good Deeds. And hopefully in the future there will be many a many an occasion and event enjoyed in here by many a people and those that certainly in my eyes and, and being the landlord, I get that choice. Uh, I, I thank by inviting them here. And invite anyone who's watching this. One little thing to say is this isn't a trademark. You can all have this in your own home, in your own garden, in your own sheds. You can create yours. You can create your bar of good deeds and you can call it your bar of good deeds. Because it's about good deeds. You don't have to tell us about the deed. No one ever has to tell us about the deed. But anyone invited through that door would have done a good deed. Most people do good deeds without even realising they're doing it. Because they just do it. Because that's the nature of you. We don't need a medal for it. The medal is the fact that when you may need help, someone will help you. We're passing it on. We're passing on that really good deed. And the reason behind the name, the Bar of Good Deeds, and the reason we're here, oh, I'm here today doing this, came from a long, long time ago, 1990 it would have been, 30 years ago. And things were difficult, things were, 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 were struggling then, and I was struggling in particular, very, I was struggling a hell of a lot then, as I've done a few times in my lifetime, but that was a big struggle, that period of my life. Now this is the little story I'm going to impart upon you, that I've imparted upon many people in the, in the last 30 years. And this is a true story, this isn't, this isn't fabricated or anything like that. It's not one of these stories you see that they pen on the old internet and they give it a load of bum for those adverts and all that. This actually happened. So I'm driving along an old Cyril. Now, Cyril was a little old Ford Escort post office van that I had when I was first starting out building when I'd come back from Germany. And I'm driving along, and I didn't have a lot of petrol in those days. I was often running out of fuel. But it was the days before mobile phones, etc., etc. And I'm along the country road, and I've run out of fuel yet again, because Cyril's gauge was a little bit temperamental. So I get out of the old van, and I'll grab the old petrol can, because obviously I have one of them, and I thought, right, I've got a bit of a walk now, because I was at that place called Robmail, and I've got to walk to Lewis. Anyone who knows that, it's a fair old few miles. Uh, and I was the wrong side of Robmail. So, and there's no petrol station, the old petrol station shut down, the old hand pump John that had gone, and I've got to get to Lewis. So I've got about a five or six mile walk to Lewis. I haven't got any money, so I can't even fill the can up. But I, I've got, well, I've got enough money to make a phone call. In those days, they, we had things called telephone boxes, and you could get in them, and you put that like, 10p in and make a phone call. So I thought, if I get to the petrol station, and I know there's a petrol station there with a phone box, I can call my brother up, and good old brother, he'll come out and he'll he'll fill up my can and he'll take me back to my car, to my van. So I'm walking along this road, and, and along, come, along comes this vehicle, sees me walking along, pulls over. There's an old fella in it, must have been 70, 75, something like that. What are you doing there, boy? He says. And I say, Well, I've run out of fuel, that's my van back there, and I'll go to the garage in Lewis. Is that a long old way? You better hop in. So I get in his car and I thank him very much and he drives me off and he takes me, he's driving along, we're, we're just going along, we're chatting about our life and he says, you look a little bit troubled. And I said, well, it's just things are a little bit tough at the moment. And I'm not going to go into all of that because that's a little bit personal. But things are a little bit troubled and I'm a little bit, things are a little bit difficult. So we're getting towards the garage. He said, where do you want to go? I said, well, if you could take me to the petrol station in such and such a street. I said, oh, I know there's a telephone box there and I can phone my brother. Well, why do you need to phone your brother up? And I said, well, I haven't got any money. I need to fill my can up and I've got to get back to my car, my van. Right. 
So he pulls me up to the petrol station and he pulls up to the pump and he gets out and he says, you give me that can, boy. I said, no, 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 no. And I knew exactly what he was going to do. He said, no, no, no. He said, you do as you're told. I'm older than you. Now, in those days, obviously, we respected our elders. Unless we knew better, we respected our elders. So I gave him, Julie gave him the can. He filled the can up, he went inside to the old pay booth, he paid, he came back. He said, right, he said, I'm driving you back to your van. He says, and we're going to put that petrol in the van. And he said, and then we're going to get that van going, just in case it's an airlock, we'll make sure you get going. So he drives me back, and we have a bit of a chat about all sorts of things. Now, he was an ex-army man. He didn't tell me, but I knew he was an ex-army man. So he's driving me back, and we I made a few comments, and he made a few comments about, I thought, hey, anyway. He drives me back, we fill up the car, the van, I keep saying car, I fill up the van. Start it up, she eventually good old Cyril with fires and he goes and I've got a couple of gallon in there, that'll more than see me home. And I said to the old boy, I said, right, I said, you've got to give me your name and address. I said, because I feel terrible, I've got, to, I've got to send you the money. Thank, thank you, send you send you the money for the petrol and, and, and a little something for taking me all the way there and all the way back again. And he said, no. He said, I'm not... Here. And, and in all this time, he hadn't even told me his name. He said, I'm not even going to tell you my name. And I was a little bit taken aback. I thought, well, hang on a minute. Isn't that a little bit rude? I, 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 my name's Paul, by the way, you know. And he said, no. He said, but are you going to do something for me? So I said, what am I going to do? He said, when you come across someone in the same situation, you help them. No charge. No fee. You help them. He said, and then you pass on this story. Don't tell them who you are. You ask them. You don't want any payment. The payment, they help somebody else. And I didn't take long to think about this. And I said... Not a problem at all. Thank you very much. Thank you for your help. Then he said, it was a pleasure. It was a pleasure helping you. He got in his car, he drove off, I got in my van, and I drove off. And I can say hand on my heart, I'm without word of a lie, since that day to this day, whenever I've had the opportunity to help someone, whatever the situation might be, to whatever degree I can help them, at zero cost to them, and I don't always mean financial, but at zero cost to them, I've helped them. And the ones that have wanted to pay back or would have been in a position to at some point pay back, I have related this story to them. And I've done that many, many a time. And I would say to everybody out there, think on that. Pass on that little story if, if you come across someone and if you have to help someone and then you pass it on. And then maybe, with the way the world is today, we can start spreading a little bit more help and a little bit more love and a little bit more understanding. And we don't need a medal for it. We don't need thanks for it. I don't need to thank you for something that I've offered. You don't have to thank me for it. And that is the beauty of us as human beings, how good we can be to each other. That's just as human beings. You don't have to be affiliated to anything to be a decent human being. And on that little note, that little story, that is why the Bar of Good Deeds is here today. And I'm pleased that I've been able to achieve this. And I'm pleased that I can now invite people to come in and, and see it all and when they are invited have a little drinky and a little chat and if the drinky has to be a cup of coffee or a cup of tea that's fine because we've got the ability to do that it doesn't have to be a beer so to you all happy 2021 and 22 and 23 and so on and so on and so on let the good times roll again to another time. Ta-ta.